It may come as a surprise, but this typography was entirely generated with AI. So was this image here, and this graphic. Everything you just saw was generated by the latest version of Ideogram. So today, I want to give you a quick tutorial about Ideogram. I'll show you some prompts and examples of how you might be able to use it. All right, let's dive in. So when you come to Ideogram's website, yeah, I kept saying Ideogram, but I think it's more pronounced Ideogram. Just let me know which one you prefer. But uh, in any case, we're now on the website and right off the bat, you can see other people's feed and what they're creating and so on. And just something too that I want to mention is that now Ideogram 1.0 is here. So you can actually read more about it in the blog post. Um, basically all about their current updates and what's new uh, and things like that. And also if you click on the prompt bar here, you will see that now you have different models. So you can choose from 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or the newest one, which is 1.0. Here's something worth mentioning is the magic prompt feature. So basically what it does is that it takes your prompt and then it turns it into a more detailed prompt. So that means that if you're someone who prefers just to type in a short prompt and let Ideogram do the creative part, then this feature is for you. All right. Now let's have a look at the top feed here and see what we can find. So as you can see, some of these are like really, really cool um, graphics um, with a lot more details right now. Like this one here is super cool. And if you click on it, you can actually see the prompt that was used to create this artwork here. So if you want to create something similar, you can always just uh, either take the original prompt or the magic prompt here. And you can also see which model it used to create this one. So for this one, it's a 1.0. Let's also check out some other artwork Let's see if something like really different. Yeah, there are some really like amazing, amazing uh, pictures here. And you can also use it to create stickers if you want to sell on Redbubbles or Etsy, you know, for like print on demand, stickers, t-shirts, all this kind of stuff. You can also um, use like prompt like this to create vector stickers of kawaii cats, right? Yeah, so you can explore a little bit by yourself. And now let's test some prompts out to see what we can create with the Ideogram 1.0. First, let's just try uh, generating a logo. So here I type in just a cute cat cafe logo. And as you can see here, actually you can choose the style of the generated photo that you want. And I'm just gonna choose illustration for now and see what we can get. And for logo, I'm gonna choose one, uh, one to one ratio. See what we get. So here we have some results of the logos. Uh, it's not quite what I imagined, but maybe because I didn't give it more like instructions, but you can always regenerate until you get something you like, or you can change the settings here. Maybe it was the style that was off. You know, maybe I'm more looking for, um, you can click on see all here. Uh, maybe I'm more looking for um, a vibrant style or something like that. Um, so just play around until you get something you like, but already it can give you some ideas of, you know, potential logos and stuff like that. And now let's try generating something else. Let's say a poster. So I already type in Amsterdam city poster in a vintage style. So I'm going to click on typography poster. Yeah, I think this will be good. So click generate. Oh yeah, sorry. I want to change the ratio to something more suitable for a poster. 
let's just say three to four. Try it. Okay, so here are the results. Um, some of them I quite like, like for the first one, for example, but sometimes it can still generate like some nonsense text. So um, you will have to try a few times. And what you can do also is that, for example, um, among these four, I really prefer the first one. You can always click on this remix button and just to generate again. So let's see if it becomes better. For those of you who have tried Mid Journey, you might know this is kind of like the, the V, you know, when you click on V1, V2, V3, V4, you can generate like versions of the selected graphic. So this one is kind of like that function. And um, yeah, I like the color of the first one. I really like this poster. Let's try something different now. Let's say I want to create a typography, like some text in a, an artistic style. And I typed in winter is coming in IC lettering. And I click typography. I just want to see. Wait, I think I'm still in the. Uh, yeah, OK. Uh, that was the remix uh, function. So let's try this again. And I'm just gonna turn on magic prompt this time to see what we can get or what it suggests us, right? I click generate, wait for the results. Oh wow, this is actually pretty amazing. Like, I like this first one a lot. So you can actually use it for like some artwork of yours or, you know, like if you actually have Canva, you can extract this text into its own layers, so to speak. And so you can use it to other like artwork of yours. It's really cool. And what about why so serious? With a joker smiling let's just try that right um for this one i'm actually gonna click on lucky style so it would randomly choose some style for me so let's have some fun dark fantasy and pen painting this sounds fantastic uh, i'm gonna do uh three four ratio again generate Wow, uh, this one looks amazing. Wow. Although some of them don't really have the text. But look at look at the quality here. It's amazing artwork for sure. And let's see if I type in text. Normally we'll get the, the text. So just generate that again. Uh, here are the results. Some of them are a little bit less cool, <laughs> but uh, at least it spells everything right, right? Why so serious? Why so serious? Why so serious? This one, uh, we cannot really read. No. <laughs> okay, it doesn't mean anything, but yeah, let's say, yeah, this one looks super cool. I would love to uh, not put this on my wall, but you know what I mean? It's just so cool. So yeah, as you can see, you can create all types of graphics or artwork with text even, and it can generate things with accuracy. So that's really something uh, that stands out with Ideogram. And now for those of you who want to create stickers or like t-shirt design for like print on demand, it can also do that. Let's just try one. I just type in really short prompt, cute panda sticker to see what we get. Uh, 
Okay, so I used the the Joker uh, setting, so it became kind of creepy and and evil, but it's kind of funny too. Let's just uh, change that real real quick. Uh, if I click on Lucky Style again, uh, it says graffiti. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can keep that just to see what we get. It's always funny to like experiment with different styles. So hit that again. Okay, with the <laughs> silhouette already, I, I think this will be much better. Oh, okay. Um, it's still not quite sticker, but yeah, let's just actually check the one we just saw and see what kind of prompt they're using. So that's an advantage also because you can just kind of steal others' prompts in a way. Uh, I'll click on top again and let's just find some stickers. Yep, this was it. So I'm gonna grab that prompt and let's just try to create something similar. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. This looks a lot more like something we can just turn into vectors and then sell a stickers or like t-shirt designs uh, but these look really really cute like I, I love this one it's quite cute um, the first one also a different style but also really cute um, but yeah you see how I just basically copied someone's uh, prompt here and then uh, you can yeah you can change a little bit if you don't want cats you want dogs or you want pandas or you want whatever animals you have in mind you can you can create those let's just create one more design trick or treat text with a pumpkin so i want to create something like for a halloween t-shirt let's try that and yeah because in my prompt here i said that i want something minimalistic and sleek um, and that's exactly what it created, which is very versatile because here you can just take this, for example, and then remove the background and then just, you know, like add some photos or anything you want. So this is pretty cool too. And if you want, you can also test other models. Let's just try it now. Like if you use the same prompt, but use, let's say model 0.2. What kind of result will we get? Is it going to be really different? Is it going to be the same? Hopefully it's different because <laughs> it's a new update and it's supposed to be better. So here are the results. And for me, some of the, these designs still look quite good. For instance, this one. But in general, like in my opinion, if I have to say, I think that in 1.0 model, it can understand the prompt a lot better. So. Uh, because here in these four designs, they are not necessarily minimalistic and sleek. And that's why in the blog post, it also mentioned that uh, it can understand your prompt better in the 1.0 model. But you can test like different styles, different prompts, just to see like what kind of styles you can create. And that's the beauty of AI too, right? Now, if you want to see all your designs, all you have to do is click on your uh, profile button. Then you will come to this page and then you can scroll down to see what we just created. Yeah, so I also created some haunted house photo for a thumbnail. And if you haven't already, I have a video talking about how to use Edogram and other free AI tools to create thumbnails. So check that out. In my channel to end the video here let's just quickly look at the pricing if you click on the settings button here you can see how many prompts you have left uh, each day you will have 25 prompts which means a hundred images generated for free otherwise you have also the basic plan seven dollars per month or the plus plan 
So really depending on your needs for me, for now, the free plan, it's enough. But just also keep in mind that the image you download is going to be compressed. So it's not going to be as high quality as those pay plans, for instance. And that's it for the short tutorial today for Ideogram 1.1 model and beyond. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, smash that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll share more AI tips like this in the future. And if you want to see how I make YouTube thumbnails from scratch with only free AI tools, click on the video now to watch it. And I'll see you in the next one.